Hey everyone, this is Ginger and you're watching Gnostic Psych, the channel where I share with you the arcane and interesting related to psychology. And today I'm going to be talking about conspiracy theories and disinformation. Uh, specifically, um, Soviet disinformation about AIDS that was leaked to the West. Um, some of you have probably heard of the bio-warfare theory about AIDS. Some of you probably haven't. Um, so I'm probably going to go over a little bit of that, but first I, I want to just go over some definitions about um, disinformation and psychological warfare for those who aren't familiar. Uh, psychological warfare, which is referred to as PSYOPs, uh, is defined as any action which is practiced mainly by psychological methods with the aim of evoking a planned psychological reaction. Disinformation is false or misleading information that is spread deliberately, deliberately to deceive. So basically, psychological warfare is a form of warfare. Disinformation is what psychological warfare basically uses as its weapon. And um, psychological warfare has always been around in every society and has been used against other countries or, or society's citizens, against a country's own citizens. It's nothing new. Um, but in the case of um, what the Soviets did, they actually, um, thanks to actually declassified archival documents of the KGB, the East German Stasi, and the Bulgarian um, state security services, uh, they were able to spread disinformation um, that basically argued that the United States was uh, creating, through biological uh, warfare, experiments and had unleashed uh, the AIDS virus um, as kind of a weapon aimed toward uh, Africans, toward African Americans, toward uh, gays, drug users, and none of this is true because um, it turns out that um, biological warfare um, was not even up to that par to actually create sophisticated viruses like the AIDS virus. Um, and the overall goal um, through what's come out of, again, old uh, Eastern Bloc and Soviet archives is basically that it was a global psychological warfare operation aimed toward Africa and third world countries and toward African Americans and members of the gay community in the United States to sow distrust toward the U.S. as being an evil capitalist society that's committing genocide, um, that doesn't care about its own citizens, um, hence they should embrace the bright future of communism. Um, the, the first article apparently that was released was actually through a uh, Indian, uh, Indian subcontinent, Indian um, Soviet Front newspaper called The Patriot, 1983, and it was actually uh, submitted to the uh, Letters to the Editor section of the newspaper as an anonymous um, U.S. biowarfare expert who was blowing the whistle about what was going on with U.S. biological warfare operations. Um, again, we know this was basically a phony letter um, and a Communist Front newspaper basically pop, uh, propaganda. Um, so apparently uh, the spread of the disinformation had reached such, such a critical mass and there was such an outrage from the African countries and from, again, minority populations in the U.S. about this uh, being a biological weapon that um, there was a lot of pressure put on to the U.S. government, eventually the U.S. had figured out that it was psychological warfare and finally put the onus on the Soviet government. Um, the Soviets, um, because they had this new image of themselves they wanted to evoke with Glasnost and Perestroika, all these reforms to make Soviet society freer under Gorbachev, they were kind of painted into a corner. And in addition, there was actually Russian scientists who were protesting about um, 
the whole uh, disinformation. I'll quote one of the scientists. It was quoted as an evil pseudoscientific political concoction. Um, they were joined by scientists in America and uh, in Europe. Um, it also happened to be that the Russian aid scientists were really trying to, to um, grapple with AIDS because it was spreading rapidly through Soviet society. Um, so some kind of a deal was made to where, um, you know, halt the program, this disinformation program, and, well, us as the U.S. are going to help uh, the Russian scientists out. So basically, by 1987, uh, um, Operation Denver and Operation Infection were closed down. The only problem is, is the legacy of this theory has endured, and there are a lot of um, conspiracy theorists and a lot of members of the black community who still believe this bogus theory, and um, uh, demographic data from actual polls has showed throughout the years that, unfortunately, there is a correlation between um, believing this theory and not practicing safe sex. Um, I think 50% of the African American community alone um, believes this theory, that uh, AIDS was a biological weapon that was used to commit genocide. And uh, the uh, presidential administration of, and I'm, not, I'm not sure if I pronounced this correctly, uh, Thabo Mbeki um, of South Africa, uh, he believed these theories, and even though HIV was spreading rapidly um, throughout the 1990s and the 2000s among black South Africans, because he actually believed this theory, he believed that they would be wasting money to, to treat it. And as a result, uh, hundreds of thousands of black Africans died of AIDS. And we can kind of see residual mindset of this theory um, fit in that same archetype under COVID to where those who probably believe the AIDS conspiracy theory are going to believe that COVID's a biological weapon and just like with AIDS being a man-made weapon and not needing to have safe sex since COVID's just basically a, a man-made biological weapon you don't have to wear a mask um, so as a result you know basically it's given, given ammunition to the anti-vaxxer movement COVID deniers, and lots of hucksters who profited off of pseudoscientific snake oil that they've sold to people who truly are fearful about contamination and don't trust the medical establishment. So, unfortunately, history repeats itself never in the same way. Um, but maybe this time, after COVID, and realizing there was a lot of misinformation partly due to the Soviet disinformation, maybe people can start to try to trust the medical establishment and that the U.S. government, um, for all of its faults throughout history, is not out to deliberately contaminate the population with a virus. So, well, I hope you like this video. Um, if you are skeptical about my sources, if you click on, um, I think it's description. It'll bring you to my references list. I always have that in all of my videos. And feel free to comment. I always enjoy comments, and I also really enjoy likes. Thank you.